Good evening. I'm Charles Payne. The White House today blasting Senate Democrats for holding up confirmation of President Trump's key cabinet appointments and warning Democrats that they better not use the same tactic to hold up Trump's Supreme Court nominee. Of course, Democrat obstruct, obstructionism has come in many forms, but today Senate Democrats just simply didn't show up for work. This prompted Republican Chairman Orrin Hatch to lay down the law. I think they ought to stop posturing and acting like idiots. Stop holding uh, news conferences and come here and express yourself here and then vote one way or the other. I'd like to see somebody with courage on that other side. Joining well, me now, the spokeswoman for Jeff Sessions, Sarah Iscor Flores. Sarah, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, apparently, the Democrats, for, for whatever reason, have seemed to have narrowed down their obstructionism <laughs> on, on a handful of uh, key cabinet picks, uh, Jeff Sessions being one of them. What, what do you think? What is the axe to grind with, this, with, 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 with Jeff Sessions? Oh, it's pretty clear what it is. He supports President Trump. And they have a huge problem with the fact that he won. This is all about not accepting the results of the election and hoping to God they wake up and it's November 7th again. And so what you see is Obama appointees in the Department of Justice refusing uh, to follow laws that are lawful. And then you see Democrats refusing to confirm an attorney general. It's putting our country at risk, frankly. But uh, in the meantime, they're sitting there and still wringing their hands, trying to figure out a way to make Donald Trump not the president. They've tried recounts. They've tried just saying he's not legitimate. None of it's working. So how about not showing up? Well, I, I got to tell you, to your point, uh, each, each time they've made one of these uh, feeble attempts, they've been more and more juvenile. I'm not sure any will get more than this unless they... Uh, Threaten to hold their breath and not, uh, and not, you know, that could actually problem. be one of them. So, so <laughs> he, he, here's the question. It, it, it seems to me to be inevitable that, that Jeff Sessions and just, I would sus suspect at this point, all of the cabinet members are ultimately going to be uh, approved. I agree. At this point, Democrats are running out of tricks up their sleeves, and they're going to have a lot more to contend with. There's going to be bills that need to be considered. We're about to have a Supreme Court nominee, uh, one of two men, it looks like, who are both going to be exceptionally well qualified, who went through their uh, circuit confirmations without opposition. But I'll bet the Democrats find a way to oppose them this time. Well, to your point, we've already heard Chuck Schumer hint, uh, threaten, if you will, that, uh, that, that they could uh, possibly block this, this, this pick uh, as a retaliation, they say, for Garland, but who knows? I mean, if that were the case, and of course, knowing that the American public is fed up with all of this nonsense, what, would the, what should the Republicans do? What should the White House do? Well, in the end, either one of them will get confirmed one way or another. But what I think is going to be very interesting to do is to watch these uh, Democrats up for election in 2018. There's 10 of them that are up for election in states that Donald Trump won. About five of those states he won by double digits. Think Montana, North Dakota, uh, Missouri, Indiana, uh, even down in Florida, et cetera. And so what are they going to do? Their voters said they wanted Donald Trump to be president. And uh, of those voters, one in five thought that the Supreme Court was very important. 57% of those voted for Donald Trump. So they clearly want the court to go in a conservative direction, and they wanted Donald Trump to pick that Supreme Court justice. So are the Democratic senators going to go home in an election year and say, I don't care what you've thought. I don't care how you voted. I don't care about the results of this election. I'm going to side with Chuck Schumer over the people of North Dakota? I don't know. We'll see. Heitkamp <laughs> uh, came out pretty strong against uh, Betty DeVos, and uh, you know, that might be the only pick that they may be able to stop, in my opinion. But you make a fantastic point. Uh, good luck with everything, and thank you very much for coming on the show tonight.